This is Diecast Street League. And I'm Roy. And we race in Rock City. We have revamped Rock City. What does that mean? The track has been extended. I did all the work. The track corners have been pinned down, so passing is more likely to happen. The track is a little bit faster, and the racing is cleaner. One day, I'm going to get out there and show you how fast I am. I cannot wait. Wait for what? Never mind, Roy. Wait a minute. Something looks different around here. Welcome back. This is Diecast Street League. We are here in Rock City. It is a beautiful 79 degree day. Great for racing. This is a top of the A class list race round two. All right. These four cars will run it off. The top two drivers will move on to round three where you already know the drivers are going crazy. Let's get to these cars, though. 69 Pontiac GTO Judge, driven by Anthony. 1,000 horsepower. 2018 Chevy Camaro SS. 940 horsepower. 2010 Ford Shelby GT500. Driven by Leo. 1,000 horsepower. 1970 Chevy Camaro. Driven by Gray. 1,100 horsepower. Those are your cars for today's race. I cannot wait. It's second round action, so you know it's going to be crazy. I'm already right. knowing. We doing the best out of eight races. Takes all the money in the bragging rights. Four grand. First place gets two points. Second place gets one. Third place will get a half a point. We're trying something different. Let's see how it works out. I hope it works out. It was your idea. Let's go. Let's go. Greg has the lead coming out of the first turn. He has a two-car lead going into the second turn. Anthony tried to pass Greg on turn three. Couldn't get it done, but got passed up by the Shelby. Leo just passed him up for the second place position. And Greg took first place in the first race. And Anthony got third place. That was a good first race. Yes, they were going at it on the first race, first tune, first time down. What's this you talking about, cartoons? You tune your car, Roy. Oh, you paint on it to make it look fast. What? Greg has the lead going into the first long straight. The SS was in second place going into the second turn. The SS stumbled over the bridge. Anthony tried to pass Greg on the inside but couldn't get it done. Coming out of turn four, Anthony took the outside lane and Leo took the inside lane for the pass. Anthony tried to pass Greg right there. And then Leo tried to pass Anthony, but Anthony shut the door. See, Anthony made the mistake going on the outside. We all are outside. Leo took the inside for the second place victory. Greg got a 13-0-1 time. Leo and the Shelby has one. Greg and the Camaro has two. Race two about to go down right now. The SS has the lead going down the first long straight. Greg is in second place, got spun out by Leo. The SS has the lead, has about 20 cars. Greg is in second place. Oh no, Leo just passed him up right at the finish line. That was a heck of a pass. What a pass for the second place position. The SS had the lead on the long straight. And Greg was all on his bumper. He had the second place position. Got spun out by Leo right there. The SS gapped everybody about 25 cars. Greg was in second place. That SS is rolling. 
Leo was in third. Greg tried to put too much power down too soon and spun out. Coming out of the last turn, Leo took a good line and passed him up for the second place position with no room left to get it done. But he got it done, that's all that matters. Leo must have been doing about 175 just to catch him that late. Man, he must have got on the nitrous at the right time after getting that right groove out of that turn. The SS1 with a 13.96 time. 13 second times out of new 10s around here now that we extended the track. You figured it out about time. What about time? I just said 13 seconds was good. The Shelby has one, the Camaro has two and a half points, the SS has two, and the GTO has a half point. Race three about to go down. Let's go. Greg and Anthony are nose to nose going down the long first straight. Greg crashed into Anthony. Greg got the first place position and somehow Anthony recovered and just passed Greg on the inside. Red Dead Greg is in hot pursuit. Oh, Greg just passed Anthony for the first place position. They crashed, but Greg managed to take the first place victory away from Anthony. Man, they were going to battle right there. Yes, they were. I'm really liking the new setup. They were neck and neck as soon as the light dropped going into the first turn. It looked like Anthony had a little bit of a lead, then Greg got a little bit of a lead going into the second turn. They were neck and neck going over the bridge. Anthony got in front of Greg and Greg almost spun him out, but they both kept it straight somehow. We see it right there. Anthony was on Greg's heel, but passed him on the inside. Why did Greg give the inside lane up? Not sure what happened there, but it was a mistake and Anthony capitalized on it quickly. I thought Anthony had this one in the bag after all that. But Greg got a good groove coming out of that last turn, passed him, racked their nasty crash, but still kept the first place position. Greg got a 15.12 time. It was a slow time, but a good race. Man, they were going to battle right there on that last stretch. It looks like Greg tried to cut Anthony off and end up crashing. It did look like he was playing a little bit of defense. What do you mean, defense? This is not football. The Shelby has one, the Camaro has four and a half, the SS has two, the GTO has a half point. Race four going down right now. Let's go! The SS has a lead on the first long straight. He got passed up by Leo. Leo just got passed up by the SS. No, Leo just passed up the SS. And Greg just passed up the SS for the second place position. The GTO passed up the SS for the third. What a race. Holy crap. How many overtakes in one race can we have? Roy, as many as we can take. That was awesome. Yes, it was. The SS had a slight lead coming out of the first turn. He's flying. Leo and the Shelby took that one. He had the first place position. The SS tried to get the lead back from Leo right there. Greg passed up Leo for a hot second. Then Leo passed up the SS right there going into that turn. Took the inside lane. The SS lost control. And then Greg and the Camaro passed him up. And Anthony and the GTO took the third place position away from the SS. The SS got passed like 10 times in one race. It definitely wasn't a good race for him. Leo took the first place with a flat four second time. The Shelby has three, the Camaro has five and a half, the SS has two, the GTO has one. Race five about to go down. Let's go. Greg has a two car lead going down the long straight. The SS just closed the gap. You spoke too soon. Greg got away from him going into the last turn, gapped him about eight cars, and Anthony took the second place away from the SS, and Leo and the Shelby almost passed him as well. Why are they ganging up on the SS all of a sudden? It just doesn't seem like it's his day to day. That reminds me of Halloween when the big kids would take my candy right when I was done trick or treat. You see Greg pull off from the competition, he must have a good tune in at the moment because he's running good. I'm gonna research this tune stuff. 
the SS bumped Greg, tried to spin him out, but Greg kept it straight. Greg put about three cars on him right there. Looks like more. Never mind, make it 10. Either Anthony spun him out or he lost control. Either way, Anthony took the second place position and Leo almost took the third away from him. Goodness. This is bringing up a lot of trauma from my trick-or-treating days. Maybe you should see a therapist about this. What's that? Can we stop showing the SS getting his candy taken? I mean, his position? I need help. Greg got a 13-11-11 time, the best of the day. Great time. That is a nice time for this long extended track. I'm really liking the new setup. The GTO driven by Anthony got second place. Leo tried to take the third place away from the SS. The Shelby has three, the Camaro has seven, the SS has two and a half, the GTO has two. Race six about to go down. I hope the SS wins. Let's go. The SS has the lead going down the long first straight. Greg is in second place, Leo is in third. Greg is on his heel. Oh, Greg just passed up the SS. Leo and Anthony did too. We oh have a round. My God. Greg crashed right at the finish line. I hope Greg is okay. But Greg held on to the first place victory. That's what happens when it's race seven and everybody is doing whatever to get that victory. They keep picking on the SS. Roy, you might be right. I mean, every time he has to lead, somebody's picking on him. The SS had the lead going into the long straight. Greg was in hot pursuit in second place going into the second turn. The SS put three car lengths on him. Yeah, it was short lived because Greg just passed him right there on the inside lane. And then he let Leo and Anthony pass him up. And Leo wanted that first place victory. Crashed into Anthony right there. He's on his roof, but managed to get the first place position. That was a dirty Leo maneuver. and the Shelby got the second place. The GTO driven by Anthony got a half point. What do you mean a half point? Where's the other half? You can see the SS thought he had this one in the bag, but Greg had other things in mind. Passed him up on the inside. Greg got a 13-17 time. That's the best time of the Leo day. Leo and the Shelby gave second place. That collision was brutal. Like my ex-wife cooking. The Shelby has four. The Camaro has nine. The SS has two and a half. The GTO has two and a half. Race seven going down right now. Let's go. Anthony and the GTO got a slight lead over Greg. They are moving. Greg tried to pass right there. Leo took the second place position and shut the door on Greg. Greg just passed up Leo for the second place position. Oh my God. The GTO took first place. It was a battle for second place. Man, they were going at it. The SS took a DNF. It is not his day. You see the GTO got a slight lead over Greg. Coming out of that first turn, going into the second turn, the GTO still had the lead. Greg tried to spin him out right there, but Anthony kept it straight, and then Leo passed up Greg for the second place position. You see it right there? Nice maneuver. Shut the door on him. He couldn't pass, but then Greg passed him right there. Why did Leo give up the inside? That's racing. When they don't give it to you, you just take it. And that's all she wrote. Anthony in the GTO got a 13-0-3 time. That's the best of the day. That is great for this extended track. He ran a perfect race with a perfect tune. This past race was race seven. This is an error, and the next race is race eight. I'm sorry. Let's go. Leo has the first place position going into the long straight. Coming out of that second turn, he has gapped the SS. Oh, he spins out. The SS is gaining ground. Oh, no. Greg has just passed the SS for the second place position. I told you, they keep ganging up on him. Whenever he has a victory in his bag, they take it from him. You okay? This reminds me of trick-or-treating all over again. 
I need some help after this race. Roy, you need to help before this race. Anthony took a slight lead out of the first turn. The SS was on his heels in hot pursuit. Going into the second turn, Leo got a little breathing room. He gapped him about three cars. He spun out right there. They both spun out, but the SS managed to gain some ground on the Shelby. And, but then Greg passed him up on the outside for the second place position. Leo and the Shelby got first place. Greg and the Camaro got second. Leo took a 14 flat second time. The SS got third place, reluctantly. Man, Greg run this whole race event. Yes, he did. And Leo and the Shelby came in second place. Man, what a race series. It was awesome. Greg and the Camaro finished with 11 points. Leo and the Shelby had six and a half. Greg and the Camaro took first place in this race event. He's been running like a boss all day long. He had a good tune in, and it translated to a lot of victories. Leo and the Shelby did his thing. He came in second place. They both will move on to the third round, where the drivers are way more crazy, skilled, and fast, and ready to do whatever to get that victory. Thanks for watching. Diecast Street League. Please, Please like, like, subscribe, subscribe share, share, hit the old bell, only if you want to, but please do. It is free. Let's go. Let's go.